Hey Filmmaker, today I'm showing you 5 tips on how you can edit your videos at least 10 times faster. I use DaVinci Resolve as my main editor, but these tips can also be applied on other video editing softwares like Premiere Pro, Final Cut and so forth. Alright, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, the first tip is duplicate your timeline every time you make changes. So the first timeline I usually add is a sifting timeline. A sifting timeline is here to sift through all your project footage so you can take the best out of it. After that, I would duplicate this timeline once again and then I would call it something like sifting best clips. So I go through the sifting process once again and take the very best clips out of it. But I won't delete the clips right away, I just move them to the back like here and these for example are my best clips of this event or whatever so you always have track of it once i've done that i would duplicate this clip one more time and call it 03 editing and this is the timeline where i edit the video with the intention to send it to the client as a preview and as soon i get the feedback from the client for the revision rounds i would duplicate the timeline again and call it 04 after revision and this process goes on on how many revisions you offered and also how many revision the clients want because sometimes the client can change their minds and say oh i i want to go back to that version to that last version i liked it a lot more so then you're screwed if you don't have a duplicate of your timeline so you have to recreate everything all right this was a basic tip i hope you already do this but make sure you stay until the end because the last couple tips will speed up your editing workflow significantly all right tip number two is to colorize your clips so for example you shoot for a whole week and then all the clips look the same so you don't even know when you shot them so for that occasion i would bind my keys from one to nine to colorize it so for every number you will get a different color so you can mark them instantly this also applies if you have some b-roll and a-roll like here for example he's talking and i want to show some b-roll i would take the upper clip and colorize it differently so i know this is b-roll material and also if you edit with other people this makes it looks a lot more organized all right, I prepared some clips for you and I'm gonna play it through so you can see what I want to do here. So in this clip you want to see him putting on the helmet. So what you usually would do is take it out like this, extend the clip and cut it so you can go inside and then adjust it until you got it and see how long it takes. But there's another way to do this. So let's jump back. So this was the clip. Here's this tool inside of DaVinci Resolve. I'm pretty sure Premiere Pro and Final Cut also have this tool. So I set it to T so I can just click T and then I can just sift through the clip like this and I can see where it hits the helmet on my timeline here. So when I go through I got it right. Also I can just go here to the end of the clip and make the helmet go down here on the second last frame like this. See? And now it looks a lot more believable. All right, another tip I have here is to how to cut this clip very efficiently. So what you usually would do is just to cut it. I know in Premiere Pro you even have to press C and click, left click on it and you lose a lot of time. And then you probably take this out and close the gap in between. So there are different variations you can do. One is to press F. I have ripple delete on F. So this would ripple delete the gap in between. So ripple delete is here, shift backspace actually, but I use F here. And as you can see, F is ripple delete. So it's actually the same. Another faster way to do it even is to go here, take your timeline and I bind my keys like this so I can just press Q. And there you see with one click instead of like three clicks or four clicks, you can easily cut this clip without any hassle. All right, so how did I do this? I set my binds here once again. My cue is start to playhead, which means it's gonna cut start from the clip until my playhead. See, this is the command. The next command is W, which is split clip, which is actually like F, I think in Premiere Pro or <laughs> the C or V. No, it's, it's the C, I think, in Premiere Pro. It's C in Premiere Pro, I think. And E is end to playhead, which means this end to the playhead. And if I press E, it deletes this gap. So this will change your editing workflow a ton and you will edit a lot faster than before. So, and the last tip for today is 
to use power bins. And I'm not sure if Premiere Pro also provides power bins like this. I know they have smart bins, which you also have here inside of DaVinci Resolve, where you can just filter your clips using keywords or time frames. For example, you can search for frames so you can see everything you need for B-roll. Usually you will record above 25 frames. So you can do like greater than 30 and it will take all the clips which have more than 30 frames, which is pretty convenient if you're lacking of B-rolls and want to add some B-rolls, but you don't know where to search for it. Or you can also search all your timelines here. Let's do another search at smart bin, file name, timeline, and there you go. If you called your timelines like this or or you can just go here to timeline and then you see all the timelines you have but now we're talking about power bins and why they are so useful so if you don't see the power bins folder here you have to go to the three dots up here go to power bins and enable them i already enabled them so you can see it here and what they do is there's a master folder and you can just drag and drop your folders inside of here oh here's some funny photos of me all right so let's say i have some interesting plugins which i want to use not only in this project but in recurring projects like a youtube video or so i can just navigate to that specific folder on my finder or windows explorer and drag and drop it and then it will just clip there and you can use them throughout all your projects so for example i have this burn transitions here which I grabbed somewhere, I don't remember. And I can use them for every project just using the power bins here. So I can also add some film burns for upcoming projects. And there you go, you can just add this kind of stuff easily without always going back to your folder inside of your explorer, searching for them, importing them to your project. So this is a pretty neat way, for example, to edit YouTube videos or a whole series for a client or so. All right, I hope you found some value here in this video and these five tips were new to you. Let me know which one was most valuable for you. And also let me know if you have any further questions or any other quick tip I missed here, which you want to share here with the other people in the community and smash the like button so you can improve your editing skills immediately because I try to put out some nice educational and also motivational content here on YouTube and share it with you guys and also try to grow a great community inside of YouTube. So hopefully we will get there. I have a lot of stuff planned in the future. And yeah, I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad you stayed until the end and I will see you in the next video.